So this is a follow-up video to the one that I made called What's Happening to Christine Pavlina Part 15. And I will include links to parts 1 through 15 in the description box below this video for your viewing pleasure. Since the divine is guiding me forward via blind faith and trust, he is making an example out of me and the life that I'm leading. So I will continue to provide life updates for you guys so as long as he asks me to do so. Uh, on December 30th, 2019, my boyfriend, Chris, officially moved to Maui, and we have been living together in this hotel room ever since with his colleague, Gilly, and my kitty, Toonses, and we are all getting along swimmingly. Uh, I do not mind living in a hotel room, um, but Chris is a little annoyed that we don't have a kitchen. So we do not have a home in sight yet but we are hoping one services so that we can have a kitchen to cook in. Um, it's cozy, but hey, we're living in paradise, so we don't really have much to complain about. Uh, financially, our situation is still pretty harsh, though. Uh, the hotel is $400 a night, and again, with no home in sight, you know, the divine is asking us to stay here for now. This is where we're supposed to be. We're kind of in a holding pattern. Um, ever since Chris moved to Maui on December 30th, he has been paying for the hotel and for dinners. And he said that at this point, he's just trying to work enough to balance out the cost. And it's difficult for him because although he's intuitive, he also has to rely on my intuition a lot. So he has different challenges than I do. Uh, and his situation just requires a great deal of trust. And he said that as a planner, he would have a home arranged before he came over. So this really isn't his style, it's not how he works. And he's trying to trust the process and be patient, but it's challenging for him, you know? I mean, he's having a difficult time and kind of struggling with it. So um, we know we're supposed to be here, it's just difficult, that's all. We're being challenged as souls together. So this isn't the easiest path to walk, but we know we're following divine guidance and doing what we're supposed to be doing right now. Um, my financial situation update. With paying for the hotel before Chris got here and living expenses, I am currently at $47,677.73 in credit card debt. And in church, when I was praying for me, Chris, Gilly, and Tunes, the other side came through and asked me to pay for, bleh, asked me to pray for financial abundance. They said, you're in debt, you need money, pray for financial abundance. So that's what I did. I asked for financial abundance from the divine in church. And shortly thereafter, my parents decided to gift me $30,000. My dad gifted me $15,000 and my mom gifted me $15,000. So that helps a lot. Uh, that made me happy. And um, I currently have in my bank account $35,285.25. So technically, if you subtract the money that I have in my bank account from the credit card debt, I am $12,392.48 in credit card debt. So that's where I'm at right now, kind of like on paper. <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. Um, I have to see like how I'm gonna actually like pay these cards off. Hopefully, you know, the sooner the better. Um, are you seeing a pattern here? <laughs> are you seeing a pattern? Are you seeing like what's happening to me in my life? Do you feel like I'm supported by universal energies? Are you seeing it? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I definitely feel supported by the universe. I feel like I'm aligned with the truth, the light, divine guidance. I feel supported, I feel loved. Um, you know, this is a crazy life, but with the way that Chris and I met, I mean, I just feel like the divine put me in a position where I really had to trust him and just really trust him. And he just gives me so much peace of mind and security and it's just a beautiful feeling. I mean, he's totally just my own personal superhero. I love it. I love it. Um, if you want to see photos of me and Chris, feel free to click the link to my Instagram in the description box below this video. You can check out our photos together. You can see us eating our way around Maui, 
um, playing tennis together, etc. Um, on February 18th, I will be heading to Los Angeles to go spend some time with my family. I wasn't really able to spend a whole lot of time with them over the holidays because my best friend's appendix ruptured. So I was tending to her, her cats, her elderly father, etc. So this is my opportunity to spend some time with my family, which I'm excited about. So from February 18th to the 21st, I'll be in Los Angeles. From the 21st to the 24th, I'll be in Vegas celebrating my niece's birthday. And then from the 24th to the 27th, I'll be back in Los Angeles. And then on the 27th, I will fly back to Maui to rejoin Chris. Um, I'm taking this trip by myself. Chris is actually gonna stay behind, hold down the fort, take care of Toontas and Gilly. So hopefully he will let me return the favor someday when he wants to go visit his family in Northern California. I can stay here and hold down the fort in Maui. Um, so that's what's happening. Uh, Chris and I just celebrated Valentine's Day last night. We went to dinner and then walked up and down Front Street and I got this cool henna tattoo, which was kind of fun. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where everything stands right now. Uh, no home in sight yet. Um, my debt's going down. I'm in paradise with my love. Toonses and Gilly are getting along. I'm headed to LA and all is well. So let's see what happens because Chris and I are on this roller coaster together. So we're going to hold on tight and see what happens together. And in the meantime, take care and be well. Thank you.